ICA Northern Ireland is continuing our conversations with civil engineers and ICA members here to find out a bit more about the impact of COVID-19 on their working lives. My next chat is with Daryl Marshall. He's a bridge engineer with Arup in Belfast, and he's also the current chairperson of the ICA Northern Ireland Graduate and Student Committee. Hi, Daryl. Would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hi there, my name is Daryl Marshall. I work as a bridge engineer with ARP here in Belfast. I'm also chairperson of the AC Northern Ireland Graduate and Students Committee. I graduated from Queen's University of Belfast with a civil engineering degree in 2015. And now in my day job, I work in the design of bridges and civil structures from initial concept stage design right through to detailed design. And Daryl, what impact has the pandemic had on your working life? So like most people that usually work in an office, I've been working from home now for eight months. Um, however, ARP have been good to us and they've got us sorted out with some extra screens and also a, a decent office chair here. However, it's still not without its challenges. Um, all our contractual commitments and deadlines, they still exist. Um, lack of productivity from working from home is not really an excuse. Um, so like a normal working life, there's busy times. And in those busy times, you can feel like you're living with work rather than working from home. Um, with less appointments in the evenings or draws away from the desk and um, can feel like at times you find yourself just working on um, in the evenings. Um, however, I've been working hard to make sure that I just sort of work the hours that I'm contracted to do to make sure that I have a work-life balance and I'm productive when I'm switched on at work um, and also to protect my mental health. Um, I find that communicating like this online via webcams actually it's okay if you um, already have a relationship or a rapport with someone. However, I'm mindful of new grads that starting and starting out in their careers and don't have the same opportunity that I have to have those small um, conversations with people. So I find it can be think it can be difficult to build a new relationship with someone online. And um, however, you sort of just need to make the effort to connect with people. And Daryl, now that it's becoming obvious we're going to be living with this for a while, what do you think the longer term impacts are going to be on us? So I think this year will be remembered as a significant point in history for a number of reasons. The pandemic has forced us all to behave differently and given us time to reflect and consider what behaviours are maybe worth restarting again after or maybe not and um, that might mean a mix of working from home or in the office or thinking about how much travel we actually need to do and um, but for me at the start of my career um, I'm still optimistic and think that I will have a long and fulfilling career as a civil engineer. Every generation has its challenges and my generation will be the one that navigates out of this pandemic with civil engineers like me solving different problems than we've had to do in times past. Um, I'm not really going to make any real predictions about the impact of the pandemic, but for me, built environment still exists. It needs added to, it needs maintained, operated, and some parts repurposed. Um, civil engineers do all these things for the benefit of society that we live in, and we continue to do that even after the pandemic has been and gone. And finally, Daryl, is there any advice that you'd like to share with everybody? I think it's worth remembering that there are global challenges out there beyond this pandemic. I think the biggest of these is achieving net zero carbon by 2050. The new IC president, Rachel Skinner, has this as her theme for the year, and ICD have produced a short film on this called Shaping Zero. I'd really encourage you to watch it. We all have our part to play as individuals in achieving net zero carbon, but civil engineers will be key in achieving this, whether it's providing new and improved transport solutions, designing and constructing using new materials, or enabling renewable energy resources to be utilised. ICE's definition of civil engineering has changed over time from the original art of harnessing nature for the use and convenience of man to the current creating and maintaining a sustainable, natural and built environment. I would say to people, consider how you are going to change or what you're going to do differently from what you've done in the past to help us solve these problems we're facing as we look to the future. That's really good advice. Thanks, Daryl.